are flagellantes. By flagellants, we mean people who, for religious purposes, slash their backs, beat themselves or one another, and from the 11th century, these people believe that flogging each other, slashing themselves and bleeding and suffering as Jesus did, is the only way or road to salvation and is done as a form of religious penance. They believe that because Christ suffered, they also must suffer. Because Christ was beaten, they also must be beaten. Because Christ's back was slashed, their back also must be slashed. Because he wore a crown of thorns, they also must wear a crown of thorns. Because he carried a cross, they too must carry a cross. Because Christ died, many of these people also suffer and die in the dust of the road. Flagellants, then, is the name given to people who, for religious purposes, beat themselves and subject themselves to torture as a form of religious penance to make up for having done wrong or for sin. Thousands of years ago, this was done in many parts of the world, and is usually done as a form of worship to their gods. It's my privilege again tonight to introduce to you a man God has anointed with a supernatural miracle-working ministry, a man God has chosen to pray the prayer of faith for multitudes around the world. God's Word has declared, These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name you shall cast out devils. And another of the signs God has promised to follow those who believe is to lay hands on the sick and God's Word said they shall recover. God has used Brother Allen in the United States and in many foreign countries to pray the prayer of faith, to cast out devils, to bring healing and deliverance to the sick and the afflicted. It's my privilege to introduce to you at this time God's man of faith and power, Reverend A. A. Allen. If you're glad to have Brother Allen in the Philippine Islands here in Mindanao, give him a good hand clap of welcome as he comes. Now, I want everyone to raise your right hand to heaven with me, and let's pray. Father, as we open this prayer line tonight in Jesus' name, I am believing you to heal the sick. You're going to heal the cripples. You're going to open deaf ears. And we believe you're going to restore sight to the blind. You're going to do it tonight, because you cannot fail. The first lady in our prayer line tonight is a blind woman. How many believe God can open blind eyes? You believe he can? Do you believe he will? How many of you students are praying with me tonight? 
I want you to stand up and join me in prayer. Do you believe God's greater than this? Do you believe it? Now listen. Did Jesus open the eyes of the blind? God, I believe you tonight. You're going to open this woman's eyes. You're going to let her see normally and perfectly. You devil of blindness, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 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 How many believe it tonight? Do you believe it? When I take my handkerchief off of her eyes, she's going to see perfectly. She's going to see everything. How many of you believe it? In the name of Seth. 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 Say it again. Jesus. Now, Jesus, I believe you tonight. In the name of Jesus, I command you to see. What? this poor man. Oh, God, for this poor man. Jesus, I believe you're going to open his eyes. Oh, God. Jesus. Yes, Lord. How many believe God's going to do it? Tonight, say thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, tonight, for your glory tonight, open this man's eyes. God's doing it. God's doing it. God's doing it. Keep your eyes open. How many believe it? Brother, do you believe it's done? I believe it. You believe it? I believe it. When I take my handkerchief off, what are you going to see? I will see perfectly. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Because Jesus can't fail. It's because Jesus can't fail. He said it. He said it. And he cannot lie. And he cannot lie. Are you ready? In the name of Jesus. God, you can't feel me now. You can't feel me, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I command these eyes receive their sight. Now, in the name of Jesus, open your eyes. Tell me what you see. I see brightness. Tell me what you see. I saw you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh. Look here now. That's all right. Let's shout. It's done. Yeah, it's done. It's done? It's done. Can you uh, tell what kind of a shirt I'm wearing? You got the white with the uh, flowers. I got what? A white shirt with flowers. Yeah. With flowers. Am I wearing anything around my neck? Yeah, it's a uh, shiny metal. 
A what? A shiny metal. A shiny metal? Yes. Did you ever see anything like that before? No, I didn't. Well, no one else ever did. I made that. Stand right here. Now, do you see anything on this young Bible school student? Yeah. On his clothes? Yeah, I see something. What do you see? He uses a yellow ribbon. Listen. Stand here. Did you hear what he said? He, he uses a what? He uses a yellow ribbon. A yellow ribbon? With a... Uh, With what? Fountain pen. He uses a yellow ribbon. Yellow ribbon. And white. And white. <laughs> All right. Can you tell me what's on the ribbon? Well, he says he can see it, but it's kind of faint. I'll tell you what it is. It's the preacher's ribbon. Wait a minute. Do you see anything else on his yeah. shirt? I get the fountain pen right there. Everybody shout. Put your hands up and praise the Lord. Isn't Jesus wonderful? Everybody get quiet, please. Everybody get quiet. I want to show you one of the worst things I've ever seen. You see this little short leg? Do you see this? You see this little leg? How many can see it? She wants the Lord to straighten it out. It's withered and it's small. How many believe God can do it? Her mother says it's four inches shorter than the other one. And it is. How many believe God with me? Let's pray. Jesus! Do something for this child. Answer prayer, God. Answer prayer, Lord. In the name of Jesus, God. Straighten it out, Lord. In the name of Jesus. This little girl had a leg four inches shorter than the other one and withered. While we prayed, this little withered leg not only got as long as the other one, it got as big as the other one. And now then, she's going to step down here and she's going to walk without limping. Come across here with me. Come this way now. You walk right across there to Brother Thomas. Where's this girl's mother? Are you the mother? Come here. Come here, dear. Here's your daughter. Did you see what happened to her? Huh? Yes. Yes? yes. Are you happy? Can you believe it? Yes. yes. Even the mama don't know what to do. Well, there she is. Come here, darling. 
They don't want you down here. I'll take you home with me. Go on. <laughs> Wonderful Jesus. one of our little Muslim friends. She's got cancer in her stomach and a constant pain. And it just seems that nothing can take this pain away. Look here now. Do you believe Jesus will heal you? Huh? Huh? Do you believe Jesus will heal you tonight? All right. Now, when I pray, this cancer is going to go, and the pain is going to stop. How many believe the Lord will heal a Muslim? In the name of Jesus. Cursed be the cancer in the stomach. I command that every pain go in Jesus' name. How many believe it? Okay, now. You gone? It's gone? It's gone? It's gone. <laughs> she says it's gone. Is it gone? Hallelujah. Now this little woman has got a this left arm is dead and she can't bend it or lift it. What's all the excitement? We're having a time tonight, aren't we? It's up here, you say. Do you believe Jesus will heal it tonight? Huh? Yeah, he's going to heal it tonight. And, and put life in it. Yes, all right. God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. She says she wants to use this hand to comb her hair. She can't even use it. She wants to get her hand behind her head so she can fix her hair. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, I believe you're right now. I believe you're right now. Somebody bring me a comb. Now raise it up. Now you use that hand and fix your hair. Use that hand and fix your hair. This is what she's wanted to do. She hasn't been able to fix her hair with this arm. It's all right now, isn't it? All right, now do it up. Fix it up. Fix your hair with that hand. Isn't that sweet? Everybody say, thank you, Jesus. Come on, honey. <laughs> My, the Lord's so good tonight. I'm so glad he lifted me. Thank you, Jesus. 
Can you say thank you, Jesus? Friend, this is God's time for the Philippines. And I've never heard so many missionaries saying this is God's time for the Philippines. This woman is also deaf. But is God going to open her ears? She's got a troubled look on her face. But Jesus is going to heal this little woman. Oh, God. In Jesus' name. Hear my prayer. Hear my cry, Lord. And in Jesus' name. Open these deaf ears. Let this woman hear the name of Jesus tonight. Let her hear Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It's done. Huh? I could hear it now. You could hear this. Sing it again. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Nearly everyone in these two lines tonight are deaf and blind. If God's going to heal this man, he's deaf. How many believe it? Poor man. Jesus, you've done it again and again and again tonight. You said in this day would the ears of the deaf hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind would see out of obscurity and out of darkness. God, we know this is the day. When blind eyes see and deaf ears hear, and when lame limbs leap as in heart. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, I command these deaf ears here. Open, open in Jesus' name. Now, God, I believe. my watch. He's going to hear this. Hi, right, everybody. You listen. You listen to this. You hear it now. Hi. Right. Now, you listen to this. You hear that? He hears it now. It's going to be all right then. All right. Well, shout again. I hear something in death entirely different. This man has a tumor in his nose, and he wants God to take the tumor out. The t a tumor is a growth. And since he has a tumor in his nose, he's what you call a brow mouth breather. He breathes through his mouth. You believe God's going to do it? I can tell this man is a Christian. Hear him praying? Hear him praying? Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. This is my night. This is my life. This tumor is going to leave my nose. This tumor is going to leave my nose. And I'm going to breathe normally through my nose. And I'm going to breathe normally on my nose. In the name of Jesus, I curse this tumor. I command this tumor disappear. 
I command this tumor go. The beast's nostrils open, and this man be able to breathe normally through his nose instead of his mouth. Right now, in the name of Jesus, it is gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Close your mouth. I'm healed. You're healed. I'm healed. You're healed. I'm healed now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's gone. Yes. All right, close it's your mouth. Breathe through your nose. Do it again. Do it again. Big. Big. Is, is it working all right? Yeah. The tumor's gone? Yes. Yeah. I knew it. Blessing. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. Come on and sing it. Well, I'm so glad. And I read it from John 8, 11, which says, Go and sin no more. First John 2, 1, the word of God said, My little children, these things I write unto you that you sin not. From 1 Corinthians 15, 34, the word of God says, Awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of God, and I speak this to your shame. From 1 Peter 1, 16, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And from Hebrews 12, 14, Follow peace and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. One more scripture. What shall we say unto these things? Shall we continue to sin that grace may abound? God forbid. And then from 2 Thessalonians 3, 3, the Lord is people who will establish you and keep you from evil. One more scripture from 1 Corinthians 10, 13. There have no temptation taken you, but such is common unto man. God is faithful and will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but he will with every temptation make a way to escape that you'll be able to bear it. So for what I have read to you tonight, the word of God declares that God wants us to be holy. The scripture said, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And this is God talking. What I have read to you is from the Bible, and this is the Word of God. And every one of these scriptures command that God's children, the Christians, the followers, should be clean, godly, and holy, and live without sin. 
Nagaingon ang kasulatan ng sulti pagingon sa mga sulat sa mga katawhan ng kita unta mga puyo o maayo o limpio o labaw sa kasalanan. My Bible said he that commits sin is of the devil. Nagaingon ang Dios ng kinsa katung magpuyo kasalanan o demonyo. The apostle Paul says it's time to wake up and leave sin alone. Nengon San Pablo ng piano to kasalanan o dili na to sila pagkahilabdan. Paul said some have not the knowledge of God and he's ashamed the people that sin every day and repent every night. Nagaingon dito si San Pablo pagingon ng mga mauaw siya siya mga katawang tungur kaya mga tao na kasala kanunay. God has power to keep you from sin and keep you from the devil. Ang Diyos doon ay gahong maroon pagkuha ka ni mo sa kasalanan, sa yan ang kasalanan o gikan sa kamot sa mga panuhay. God said, Behold, I give you power over all the power of the devil. Ningon ang Diyos sa gano'n ko ka magahong sa gahong sa tanang gahong sa kaaway. Jesus said, Pray to receive it within you than he that's in the world. Oh, ningon si Jesus pagsulti ng alabaw ang nga ka ninyo kaya ang nga sa kalibutan. And God has given every one of his children power over sin and power over temptation and power over the devil. Oh, ang Diyos sa gahatag Hallelujah sa karatag sa tag sa kanato sa iyang mga anak sa gahong sa labaw sa gahong sa demonyo o gahong sa tingkasyon. Word of God said you shall tread upon scorpions and upon serpents. O gang ang pulong sa Diyos na gaingon na kusgan pagayon kita sa tanan na serpisyo. So it's time that we get the devil under our feet and let the devil know who we are. Kinahangan kayo na itong ipaila ng ang demonyo nga siya sa ato siyang pagayapakyapakan o gato siya pailong kung kinsa kita. I believe that every one of you people here in these islands want to go to heaven. O ako karong nahibawaan ka rin nyo din siya karong tanan ng kamutanan. I don't believe that there's one of you that want to go to hell. Oh, wala ka ninyo ang magto dito sa inferno. But you're not going to go to heaven with a package of cigarettes in your pocket and beat a nut in your mouth and a bottle of beer in your hand. Apan dili ka mo magato dito sa langit kung na ay sigarilisyo ng bursa o na ay maskara sa inyong baba. Oh, gaka mo kung mainyo ka ng pagkabotong, wato ka mo dito sa inferno. You're not ready for heaven until you're clean and godly and holy and free from the devil and free from sin and free from your habits. Dili ka o andang sa mga turito sa langit kung dili ka o malimpyo niya na yung mga hugaw, niya na yung mga bisyo o niya na yung tanang ng kasalanan nga na si mong lawan. You are not ready for heaven until you're holy like Jesus was. Dili ka o andang sa langit kung dili ka o balaan pa rin kang iso. Jesus said, be you holy for I am holy. Ing on Jesus magbalaan ka mo tungkol kaya ko balaan. The word of God said that you and myself we're to follow after peace and holiness and without holiness no man shall see God. Ngon ang Biblia pagingon nga kita magasunod sa kamaturan o sa kamatarong kay tungod kay kung dili kita magbalaan dili kita magkita sa naong sa Dios. It's not enough for you to be religious. You've got to be holy. Dili kinahanglan dili pa hukto gyud ang atong pagkarelihiyoso magbalaan kita. It's not enough for you to have form and ceremony and ritual and images and candles and incense. Dili kina hangan ng kita puno na to sa mga kandila, sa mga ritual, sa mga purma ng Kristohanon. You've got to be holy. Kina hangan ng yun ng kita magbalan. Jesus said, "Be ye holy, for I am holy." Jesus nagayong on balan ako po sa mga kandila. He said, "Awake up, righteousness, and leave sin alone." Oh, magdon kita ng ato sa mga sa kamatarong o katumbiano kasalanon. Without holiness, no man, no woman, no girl or no boy will ever see heaven and ever see God. Ay kung hindi kita magbalan, wala, wala ka yun di sa kinsa, bata o sa kung tao ng mga tulis sa kinsarian sa laos. And to you people are religious, but you are not holy. Kada kanan kada to religious kita, at pandili kita balan. Thousands of you people have got a religion and even go to church, but you're not holy. You're not clean. You're not like Jesus, and you're not ready for heaven. You're going to hell. Kada kanan kada to religious kita, o kada kanan nato dili kana kita mo tuli to sa simbahan, o nagpadulong kita ng ato sa inferno. It's one thing to have religion; it's another thing to have Jesus in your heart. O sa kabutang ang do ang pagkuha o religion, apan o lain o sa mga kabutang kung si Jesus yas ato. It's one thing to be religious; it's another thing to be holy. O lain ang pagpagpangulo, apan lain o sa ang pagbalang. There's only one way you can be holy and get holy, and that's to get on your knees and cry out to God and ask God to cleanse you and give you a new heart. O sa lamang kapaagi ng kita mahimong balan mao ang pagluhod din ha o pagtingit ng tosa Dios aron kita ngayon o pasayon ng kasalanan. 
My Bible said that God has made a way for us every time the devil tempts us. Ang Bible na gay ngon nga ang Dios nagmita kay pagi kanunay nga kung kanunay kita para patintalon sa demonyo. There's no temptation taken us which is common to man. Walay tentasyon kung dili pareho sa tanan. God is faithful and will not suffer the devil to tempt us above we're able. Ah, ang uh, ang Dios nagahit naghatag kayo nga nga kita madaogon. He will with every temptation make a way to escape. And so many people sin every day. They sin every day, all the time. Oh, kadaghanan sa mga tao na kasala kanunay, adlo, adlo. Jesus didn't do that. Si Jesus wala magbukan niya. Jesus said, Behold, I give unto you power over the devil. Ngayon, Jesus, pagsuti, tagahan ko kamao ka home. Para sa mga demonyo. And Jesus said, Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. That means the devil. Ningon si Jesus pagsuti, Al labaw ka ng nakanimo, Kay ka ng nasa kalimutan, Mao ka ng demonyo. In other words, Christ in us is bigger than the devil after us. O niya, Nagpailang at si Cristo nga niya ka na to, May nga dako kita, Kay sa demonyo. I said, Christ on the inside of us is greater than the devil after us. Ako ng uspon pagsuti nga si Cristo, Yes, what you need to do is get on your knees and confess your sins to Christ and say, Jesus, come into my heart. I've never seen so many people come over this ramp in the afternoon for prayer cards. Akong higit an mga nagdagang kay mga tao ng anini sa kada hapon mukuha o prayer card. We have given out literally thousands of prayer cards. Nagahatag na kami o mga libo kalibo na prayer cards na mong hihatag. I've never seen so many people with coughing and lung trouble and asthma. Oh, wala ko yun na sa ibang kalibutan na nakita nga sila dagang puros kayo mga sakit sa mga asthma o sa mga tuberculosis. I've never seen so many little weak, thin, chested men and women. Wala ko'y nakikita ang mga ta, mga babae o mga lalaki nga sa sibog kalibutan kundi ni din hilamang nga sila puro na nakitun silang bukan. 50% of the people have got TB, asthma, and uh, lung trouble. Asthma, la, o kaganang kapaga, o kaganang satanang sa dukhan. But nearly everyone that come for a prayer card got a package of cigarettes in their pocket and that's unholiness, that's sin. O kanaghanan sa niyari di Rita, alin niya sa pag-ampo, doon na pa isigarilyo sa ilang punta, dili ka na kamotoran, dili ka na matarong, nga na ka na ito sa salang. I believe it's a sin to smoke cigarettes. Naingon na nga kung Biblia na na, sala ka ni ang pagtabako. It's an unclean, filthy habit, it is sin. Hugaw ka na, o ka na kasalanan. And when you get saved and Jesus comes into your heart, you're not going to do it anymore. God's not going to give you a new pair of lungs so you can do a better job of smoking more cigarettes. If you people here in the Philippine Islands want God to heal your lungs, you're going to have to throw your cigarettes and tell him you'll use your lungs for his glory. Oh, kung gusto ninyo ngayon ka ng inyong baga, ayaw na pagsigarilyo, kahit kung gusto ninyo ngayon na gamitong ka na ang inyong mga baga. If you're going to go on smoking your cigarettes and living in sin, you have to die with tuberculosis and asthma. Kung ikaw nagatabako, Japon, o nagasunod ikaw sa mga kasalanan, ikaw nagadonas kamatayon. Nearly every one of you that come for a prayer card with cigarettes in your pocket are religious. Kadaghan ka ninyo, nga niya, nga rin-diri, ko ako prayer card, at puro sa sigil ninyong bulsa, mga reliyoso. Puro sa sigil ninyong bulsa, mga reliyoso ka mo. When God saved me, I threw my cigarettes away. Oh, sa pagluwas ni Cristo ka na ako, akong gilabay ang akong sigarilyo. When brother, when God saved Brother Rogers, Brother Rogers threw his cigarettes away. Oh, pagkaluwas ni Brother Rogers, yung gilabay ang sigarilyo. When God saved Brother Tommy, Brother Tommy throwed his cigarettes away. When God saved us, we quit smoking and chewing and dipping snuff and swearing and cursing and lying and stealing. Ilang gibiyan ang kaning tanan, kaning bangawa, kaning pagbakak, o kaning pagsigarilyo, kaning pagmama. Because when Jesus came into our heart, he came with all of his power and all of his glory. Kahit kung Jesus niya rin niya kasing kasing, ni ano siya rin na sa tanan niyang himaya, o sa tanan niyang ahong. And it doesn't mean that we have not been tempted, but God's given us power every time the devil tempts us. Hallelujah.
Aleluya con quitaza, a Tintalón, a Demonio, quitaza, a Gerauca, a Nuna, y que quita, Aleluya, a Nacha, Dios. What you need to do is throw your religion overboard and come to Jesus. Oh, que no hagan que imunga boto, no, y lava y imunga que imunga religión, o muluco y caunga toca guitón. If I had a religion that wouldn't save me from sin and clean me up and put Jesus in my heart, I'd throw it overboard. Hallelujah. Kung doon ako yung religion na dili makaluwas ka na ako o dili makabalhin sa akong kinaboy, ako ka nang ilabay na ito sa layo. If your religion won't save you from sin and make you bigger than the devil and give you power with the devil, it's no good and I wouldn't have it. Kung doon ako yung religion, mga kaigtunan, na dili maka, dili maka kuha sa tentasyon, o dili ako maka kuha sa home, sa pagbalit ako kinabuhi, akong ilabay ka ng religion. If your religion won't give you a knowledge that your sins are done in the spirit of God, bear with us with your spirit, I wouldn't have it. Kung ka ng imong religion, dili makailang ka ni mong sa imong kasalanan, o dili magpailang sa Espiritu Santo ng ikaw na sa Diyos, wala ako'y kinahangan ng imong religion. If your religion won't put a new heart in you and a new spirit in you, throw it overboard and come to Jesus and get old time salvation. Kung ka ng imong religion, dili makatag ka ni mong maayong Espiritu, o blind mga maayong mga putang, o labay ka ng imong religion, o ikaw kang ito. Hallelujah! 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 If your religion won't take away your tuberculosis and take away your sickness and your disease and your cigarettes and your beer and your betel nut, it's no good. Kung ang imong religion nila makakuha sa imong mga bisyo, kanang imong mama, kanang imong mga sigarilyo, o kanang imong mga tabako, maulay post ka ng religiona. Yes! Jesus knows! And I rest the Lord, oh my God! Hallelujah! But it's not all his benefit! Hallelujah! Nilingon ang Diyos, oh my God! O dalay ko ng Diyos, himayawin siya. He forgiveth all thine iniquities, and he healeth all thy diseases. Iyang ipagsailo ng atong talaga sa laanan, o giayo ang atong mga... I'm talking about a Jesus tonight, that's all power in heaven, and in earth. Tanang ka home sa kalibutan, gihatag na, nito kang Isok Kristo, ang tanang ka home sa kalangitan o sa yuta. Amen. Amen. What you need to do tonight is come to Jesus. You need to confess every sin to God. Master, if your religion won't give you what I'm preaching to you, you better turn your religion overboard and come to God and get the old-fashioned kind that'll get the job done. I'm not asking you to join my church. I'm asking you to join Jesus. Dili kita ignuna ignun nga ikaw mutunod ka na mo. Dili nga mong ginagay. Ibuhat ka rin na pan. Musunod ikaw kang ito. I'm not asking you to join my church. I'm asking you to get holy. Ah, wala kong ikaw ina nga mo. Masunod ikaw sa akong simbahan. I'm asking you to get ready for heaven. Maganda may ikaw. I'm asking you to get ready to escape hell. Oh, gusto ko nga makaiskapar ka mo sa imperno. I'm asking you to get ready for your own healing and your own deliverance which God has promised. Di pangayaw ko kaninyo, kisulti ko kaninyo nga kamot na maluwas sa mga kasalanan o sa mga kasakitan o nga kagong ato kang ito. God's not going to take away your sickness and the first he takes away your sins. Dili ang Diyos mo kuha sa inyong sigarilyo upan perminong iyang pagkakuhaon ang imong kasalanan. As long as there's sin in your life, you belong to the devil and you'll have to go to the devil to get your healing. Kung doon ay kasalanan sa imong kinabuhi, ikaw palawin si Satanas, ikaw nagkasunod kang Satanas, o ikaw nagkapaingon nga ito sa imperno. You can't serve the devil all day long and come out here at night and expect Jesus to take away your sickness. Dili mahimo nga ikaw magasilbi sa demonyo, sa tanang adlaw o sa gabi iyo niya, muhan hindi ni, muhan imong kinahangan ang kayuhan sa imong lawas. If you want Jesus to do something for you here at night, you're going to have to serve Jesus in the daytime. Kinahangan kung gusto ni mo nga eh, si Jesus mo, imong pagbahalaran, kinahangan nga imo siyang silbihan sa adlaw o sa... You can't be one thing all day long in your home or on the streets and come out here and be something else at night. Dili ikaw nga ikaw dito, maglakalakaw sa adlaw dito sa mga laing mga lugar, o niya mo ang ikaw din hinga mo rin ikaw balaan. But I'm not talking to you this way because I want you to get healing only. I want you to make heaven your home. Dili ako gusto mag-exulti ka ninyo pa hindi ninyo butang apan. Gusto ko nga ka mo unta kayo'n mahalangi. God said without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Niingon ang Diyos pag-sulti na kung dili kita magbalaan, dili kita magsida sa kinsa. There's only one thing that'll make you holy, and that's Jesus, when He comes to live in your heart. O sa lamang kabutang ang mahimong balaan kita kung si Jesus na at atong kasingkat. Here's what I'm going to do. There's thousands of you here tonight that have heard me that haven't got holiness or tried to rise.
for him to, to carry a cross. No one has told him that Christ carried a cross in his place. No one has told these people dripping with their own blood. Many of them possibly may die by the roadside in the dust of the earth. No one has told him that because Jesus was striped, we don't have to be striped. Thousands of these people have never been told because Jesus was spat upon, was beaten and suffered, we don't have to suffer. Would you like to tell them? Listen, friend, Jesus said, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. The reason these men are doing the things that they're doing, the reason their children after them next year will do it, is because they have never heard the story. Let God speak to your heart now and let him speak to you now. And let God let to reveal to you by the power of his spirit that you must go or you must send someone to take your place. That if you fail to tell these flagellants that the blood of Jesus Christ cleanseth, that there's power in the blood, the blood of these men will be upon your hands. Because the Lord said, Go ye, and that means you. These people are groping in darkness. They're bleeding and they're dying all because many of you who watch this film have been unwilling to suffer inconvenience. You have been unwilling to tell the story. How can you sit there without tears running down your face? How can you sit there without bowing your head and saying, God, forgive me of the blood of these people. Lord, I'll go, I'll go to the ends of the world, and I will tell them how that you shed your blood, and they don't have to shed their blood. You tell the Lord right now, Lord, because you carried a cross, I'm going to tell them they don't have to carry a cross. I want you to listen to the cry of these blind people, blind leaders of the blind, all falling into the ditch. While the blood streams from the backs of these men, will you tell them, will you go to the four corners of the world and tell them that Jesus shed his blood so that they don't have to lose theirs on the dusty roads in the Philippine Islands. I challenge every viewer of this film to raise both hands to heaven and say, Jesus, I'll go. Jesus, I'll tell the story 
I'll tell them that you bled and died so that they don't have to bleed and die in like manner. I'll tell them that you wore a crown of thorns. They can take that crown off their heads. I'll tell them that you carried a cross. It's not necessary for them to carry a cross. I'll tell them that you died in their place. And it's not necessary today for them to die on the dusty roads in the Philippine Islands.